awareness is on the rise, a major health priority for women continues to be the prevention and early detection of breast cancer. Breastcancer.org reports that one in eight women will develop invasive breast cancer at some point in their lifetime. They estimate that 255,000 new cases will be diagnosed in 2017. It ranks second right behind lung cancer as the leading cause of cancer death among women. And those of the family history of the disease have doubled the chance of developing it. And 85% of breast cancer cases occur among those with no previous history, usually being caused by genetic mutations due to aging or lifestyle rather than heredity. All of these statistics lead women to one powerful recommendation, get regular mammograms, even if you think you are perfectly healthy. Nora Fullerton, a cancer survivor, shares her story of how Florida Hospital Waterman's mammography team was able to save her life. I was exercising actually one day and my trainer was rolling my back and I thought, wait a minute, that boob feels awfully hard. And so as soon as I got home, I checked and wow, what a lump. <laughs> I had no symptoms. I was, I would say, probably the healthiest I've ever been in my life. I've been working out with a trainer three times a week. I felt really good. I went and had the mammogram and um, it really didn't worry me too much because I've had a lot of fibrocystic lumps, so no big deal. But then they, they wanted to do a biopsy just to check on that. So they did the biopsy, then I had to go back to see the doctor my family doctor. We were on our way to the beach and the doctor's office calls and said, could you come in? So we went in and of course, and they told me I have uh, some sort of nasty cancer. Uh, frightened the crap out of me. They said that I have some sort of ductal, aggressive ductal something or other, stage two. Then I had to go and have the lump removed and they found it wasn't quite as contained as they expected, it was traveling along. But it hadn't got to the lymph nodes though. I was lucky. Maybe if I'd come a year sooner, maybe they would have found it before it was stage two and before it was working its way along. It'd been three years since my last mammogram and you know, I know now I should have come sooner. You know, I thought, oh, I've got a lump, I'll find it myself. But you know, obviously if I'd come sooner and not left it three years, I might have been in a lot better condition. You know, maybe I wouldn't have had to have all the chemo and all the radiation. Maybe they could have removed the lump and been done. Waterman Hospital, everybody I've dealt with here, without exception, has been wonderful. And one of the radiologists, he was the one that convinced me to actually do the chemo and the radiation, because I went to him and told him I was going to go alternative and I was going to heal myself and he really let me know in no uncertain terms you know his opinion and I went home and I thought you know what if this my sister came to me and told me what I had to tell her I would tell her in no uncertain terms you are going to have the treatment whether you like it or not I'll drag you there you know I just felt suddenly the way he put it to me was amazing you know and so caring so caring, all of them, all of them. Florida Hospital Waterman has been designated a Breast Imaging Center of Excellence by the American College of Radiology. If you'd like more information about their digital mammography services or to schedule an appointment, follow the Nora Knows story link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.